Let me be blatantly clear. This isn't going to be upgraded to a Let's Play. I want to actually play the game and not add it to the long list of games that I want to play but haven't. Greetings and salutations everyone, this is Let's Try Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is me caving into first impression syndrome where the game is right out so I really wanted to put out a video before anyone else has access to the video so I could get a lot of views and maybe someone new to the channel. Unfortunately I waited two days so I missed that opportunity. Still gonna do it though. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Controls, camera, movement. Oh, we're not limited to Zelda's walk speed, thank goodness. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. Famous last words. We'll keep going. Coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's also famous last words. Were it not for the fact that you're the main character, and that's not always a guarantee, I'd be worried about all these death flags you're raising. Huh? Hmm. Oh, is that what was going off? I was wondering what was what pinged me. Must be sensing something. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. I've never imagined anything like these were hiding. Tunnels were hiding here. Um. The castle had already fallen into neglect before we even dealt with the Calamity. I think you've got your rose tinted glasses on a bit tight there, Zelda. <gasps> we must be careful as we move deeper. Yeah, the Master Sword usually doesn't glow. I was about to examine it, but I walked a step too far. Hmm. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? Uh, what the heck? Oh, the examiner was just have Zelda come examine. Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Who the heck are the Zonai, though? Uh -huh. Look at this! Uh -huh. These carvings! I'm sure there are Zonai in the origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Hmm. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. I mean... Oh. I just looked at the top left corner. We've got so many heart containers. I can guarantee we won't have after a while. We're going to get samus Those statues here. Hmm. 
Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? Looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Creepy music. You're not hurt, are you, Link? Not particularly. They didn't even get a hit off. Look at these murals. I mean, I know quite a few, a bit about the Legend of Zelda the lore, and Zonai is completely new to me. Include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes, and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. If you squint your eyes and peer closely, I guess. From the heavens. So did the Hylians, you know. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royalty, were born from a youth who had descended from the heavens. Ah, so that's how far back we're talking. We're talking before the first Zelda. Then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure. Very ominous music for something so nice. Power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... This mural must be the great look at all the bloodshed. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. All right, then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. Isn't it the same thing as it was before? Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. You know that the rest of those murals are going to be incredibly important, aren't they? The thing is, it's been such a long time, it's entirely possible that they're just using different... It actually is the story of uh, Skyward Sword, and I don't know better because they've changed all the names around. I wouldn't have called the people of uh, Skyloft highly advanced, though. 
What is this place? Let's continue, Link. But we must be extremely careful. What is that? Science says you go poke it with a stick. Of course it did. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Yeah, he talks this he time. Who carries that fragile sword? A link. Roro placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? It's always the same names. Your parents weren't very creative. To be fair, I actually thought that Link was going to lose his entire arm, so no, it's just corrupted by evil power a bit. Look at how much I can lift, bro! Oh boy, they're really hoping on you being baked into this from a Breath of the Wild because they didn't exactly explain much in the way of plot, did they? If you're buying this game, then you're a Nintendo fan. You've already bought the previous one. We don't need to tell you about it. <laughs> Dramatic gravity. She falls faster. Oh, hi. Man, Zelda was complaining about the place falling into disrepair before. Now we've just flat out torn the entire kingdom apart. So I guess it's only fair that I start smack talking. Yeah, no, we've got a cutscene again. Loading screen was spared for now. Oh, hey, it fits like a glove. Link, 
finally wake. Interesting fingernails. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I'd have thought she'd have mentioned you. I'm relieved you. to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Okay, I stand corrected. We did have to lose the entire arm. There's a very significant part of that Master Sword that isn't there anymore. Decayed Master Sword. The sword that seals the darkness, its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Good job, Link. Good job. Oh yeah, why to attack with the equipped weapon? Because we didn't have to kill some bats. Zap. I guess we're fortunate that the gloom only took our arm and part of the sword instead of the whole thing or our entire body. That would have been a lot more problematic. Oh right, we can't use the R2 button because we don't have anything for R2. Um, maybe don't throw the Master Sword away. We'll need that later. B to dash, X to jump. After playing a bit of Genshin to Impact, this is a bit of a familiar system to me, but also I play Genshin Impact on the PS5, so maybe not. Landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. Good to know. Oh hey, they're, they're synced up to our special arm. Uh, simple classic legwear. They're well worn and show their age, but they've got a few good years left in them. It can be cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Now he looks Spartan, I guess. And we don't have a good stamina wheel anymore either. At least when we sprint, we actually sprint and not half jog, half stroll like we did in Genshin Impact. Sure, why not? I don't think we thought this through very well. Yeah, but it looks pretty much about as big as the original Breath of the Wild was.
Ah, this sort of upskirt shop. I see it all the time when I'm playing my Dark Knight in. in. What's it? Final Fantasy XIV. I gave her the Void Arc Fending set, which looks great most of the time, but not with all the upskirt shots she gets. Don't we have a Ghost of the King to talk to? Nope. Well darn. We got one sentence out of a uh, tutorial thing, a new tutorial fairy, and then nothing. Go figure. We're even getting even less direction than we did in the last game. Double go figure. Gimme. Sky Shroom, a common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat to restore health. Tree Branch! It has one extra attack compared with the Master Sword. We really screwed it up, didn't we? Press and hold. Select. Oh. Apple, a common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase effect. To increase effect. Ow. Soldier Construct Horn, a blade like horn from a soldier construct. Very sharp, handle with care. Zonai charge, so it actually sounds like the Zonai are going to be a lot of bad news for us. Might not be their original intent, but... Tree climbing simulator. It'll be all the rage, I swear. I've waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is the Pure Pad. I'm told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Uh, this might as well be our Sheikah Slate now. Oh yeah, it's very switch shaped. As opposed to the Wii U gamepad knockoff. The Princess Zelda's prized device has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Press minus to open it. I received it from Princess Zelda, I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where the heck am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It is... it... That's the Temple of Time? It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it's a lonely place. No one visits. Well, I'm someone. Okay, you're saying just the same thing. Apologies, I cannot help but reminisce. Head to the indicated location, take care as you do so. Yeah, there's a bit of a dragon over there.
push the button to open the bridge. Very mandatory, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh dear, it looks like it's going to be a very long distance, isn't it? If your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be too tired to do certain things until it fills back up again. Hello, friend. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect the land. The Zonai who created them... Wait, the Zonai created us. Okay, that explains a bit. Directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to un offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain the proper distance and face your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Lock on. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. A wooden stick with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip and use as weapon. And now we go for another big jump because there is water below us, I hope. I would really like to have my glider back, thanks. Hot-footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. I can't compete with that. I can't catch a frog that can teleport through walls. Yep, he didn't like that. I'm sure we'll be able to use these Zonai Pass for more interesting things sooner or later. Let's go just a little bit longer, just because it's a let's try, but... Well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I really wish that they would stop it with the silent protagonists. It really takes you out of the experience when everyone else is just talking to what might as well be a scarecrow. Saying, oh, it's tradition, doesn't really make up for it. Long stick. A long stick fashioned from a tree branch, its straight shape makes it function well as a lunging weapon. Oh, thank you. They aren't exactly high tech if they, all they have to fight with are sticks found on the ground. Oh, fire. We all know what happens when you set weapons on fire, right? They deal extra damage but die quicker. Were you lured in by the dis malicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They might also be tastier and more nutritious. I wouldn't know. You're roasting them? Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first time visitors might require knowledge of. First time visitors, as opposed to the Zonai soldiers, which assume everyone is a trespasser to be executed. 
You may have any questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can learn and answer them. Your question was about roasting food. I roast the ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. I create as roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Toasty Sky Shroom. Simple grind Sky Shroom. The heat brings out the flavor and can increase the amount of health it can restore. So let's see. Coal. Drop. Don't stand in the fire. We're already getting slightly toasty by standing too close. Direct Temple has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. One of them missed the fire, but oh well. It's not the end of the world. It's only the first... What, half hour? We'll be fine. I'm coming, Zelda, I'm coming. How long were we out, though? Did we go to sleep for another hundred years? Because apparently it's long enough that Zelda was able to talk to whoever it was that put a new arm on us. And say, oh yes, yes. I know exactly who you are. Throwing a weapon will perform a critical hit dealing twice the weapon damage. I'll take that and this thing. A rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands but also breaks quickly. Aged, worn out, wooden shield. Can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. Z and L when using a one handed weapon. So yeah, it's just an attack. It's just attached to your usual lock on and strafe stuff. And we're here already. Time to see how Zelda's ruined everything again. I mean, it's not her fault. She's legit descended from people that you no, know, he needed for actively for taking over the world and such. Use the bloodline. Use the ancient goddess power. Control the world. It's that a... door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Raru, source of right arm. What a title. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. No. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. The sun. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Padding, why not? Shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. I mean, I say these things, but I am looking forward to it. The exploration is the biggest part of it, the Breath of the Wild, and it's good to see that's being carried over here. We can just go ADHD. Oh, look! Shiny! The game. Your adventures will be detailed here. 
Rauru's, who appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. You need to revitalize the arm, visit the island's shrines. The green spiral appeared uh, was above each. Yeah, alright, let's give it four minutes. Oh. Need to keep in mind that not everywhere has somewhere below you, and knowing how this series was about its original tutorial zone... <laughs> it would be really nice if we had our glider. So, bottom right tells us temperatures. Arrow, arrow, but we don't have a bow, so... Crouching increases your stealth, making it easier to sneak up on foes and animals. Yep, there we go, there's the bow. R, Z, R, press and hold, then release. Okay, let's give this a shot. And then I, if I decide I don't want to, I can press the B button to cancel the draw. Nice. Might not want to go over that waterfall, I think. Okay, who did I antagonize? We'll save the rusty broadsword for later. So basically these are mook level guardians. I'm... Oh. I wonder if Guardians are going to make a reappearance. Almost definitely, they were memorably horrible. I'm not getting all these rush rooms. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating it to temporarily boost your sp movement speed. I'm not getting all of the ones on this wall, just the ones along the way, because I want to see what the shrine is like before we get started. I appreciate the arm, but I don't suppose you have a pair of a shirt and maybe some shoes or a helmet or really anything, so I'm just not running about totally naked again. At least our first tutorial area friend is very openly dead instead of it being a big plot twist once we're ready to leave tutorial area. Oh! Well darn! <laughs> oh darn, that is actually a very cool effect. Points, Nintendo, this is really cool. Even though there's a loading screen right here, it's still a cool effect. Tips and tricks. Check this screen for hints, etc. You didn't give me enough time to read it. We'll stop after our first shrine. Ah. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability that your right arm has lost. Mm. Now, extend your hand. What, you expect me to think that it's not going to be... Come on, you're going to give me some sort of test or trial. A lot of hands symbolism here. 
ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Oh! Mm. Oh, this is going to be our new... Um, this is going to be our Sheikah Slate system this time. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand. Receive the blessing from the shrine. Press L to activate the ability in your right hand. Grab. Um, R to rotate? Ah, directional buttons. We'll get the... Close enough. So you were saying something about I can glue objects to things. Maybe they haven't taught me that yet. Oh no, this is... Uh, this is motion controls. Oh wait, I can attach that to this. Um, rotate. Oh, it creates glue to stick things together. How unique. Unfortunately, we shortchanged this bridge a bit. There we go. I try to avoid, um, I try to avoid uh, warm up stuff on upcoming games now. If I really want to be hyped for a game, then I'm going, then I avoid as much as I can about it. Sly Raccoon 3 taught me that all those years back. I just like to enjoy it more how I can, but I do remember quite clearly Nintendo Capri Sun calling it, uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh, no, no, no. It was. Legend of Zelda Nuts and Bolts, which is a fair enough assessment. Bring it a little closer, please. And I can see up there they've actually got a little this is what you should be making, mate. Attach. Nope, wrong button. Grab it, swing it. Hook it. 
Um, jump button, jump button, jump button. Ooh, just barely enough delay for me to make it onto here. High five! You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Because yes, it's clearly our fault that everything went wrong. You're such a horrible person. If only we weren't a silent protagonist. We're part guardian now. Also, isn't it just ironic that we bring the Zelda down right as the arm wore off? Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Maybe someday you can have a girlfriend. The gods aren't with you, though. We need to dive from the sky to the surface, land in deep water. We aren't going to get our glider back, are we? Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability! This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll lo never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Uh, we've passed Audacity Safety Zone. It's going to get a bit tedious in editing. Press Place Pin. Ah, uh, motion controls, why do you do this? Ah, oh, there's the other one. And for some reason the blue pin... I guess I'd have to remove that manually, but I placed it in the just about the worst position, didn't I? It's blocked. Uh, either way, uh, uh, yeah, that's basically my first impressions of the game. It looks fun, but it also looks like I'm going to have a lot of fun mocking it as well. Till next time, guys, take care. I'll see you all around. It's a long way down. Man, the compass even gives us the X, Y, Z coordinates. We can't make that jump. But we could make a bridge. <laughs>